for the first time since this was founded, the forum is taking place across eight locations and will be live streamed to participants watching online. Further, whilst previous forums have focused on particular rights or specific issues, this year's program covers multiple convention rights, as well as addressing the topics of how to ensure effective scrutiny of government measures and to uphold the protection of human rights during crisis or public emergency. I'm joined here at a central conference by representatives from the Council of Europe, judges and former judges of the European Court, including President Robert Spano and the Council of Europe Commissioner for Human Rights, Dunja Mijatovic. At the same time, presidents and judges from the most senior courts, ombudsmen, directors of judicial training institutes and academies, government agents to Strasbourg, representatives of academia and NGOs from Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Kosovo, Montenegro, North Macedonia and Serbia have all come together in hubs across the region to connect with us here at the Central Conference. So this conference has in total close to 250 participants. For the first time, we are also joined by over 250 at the moment online followers, including members of the judiciary and academics from across Council of Europe member states. We are truly delighted that our forums have become an established part of region's judicial and legal calendar. Each year we receive positive feedback from those who have participated in previous forums and we have witnessed an increasing interest in participation in the event. And it was this positive feedback and the knowledge that the event has such an important impact across the region, which drove us to find innovative ways to ensure that forum continued this year. We thank you for joining us in our ambition to make this event work at a time where we believe that communication and cooperation between countries of the region are more important than ever. Over six months ago, when we first conceived of the idea to focus this year's forum on the topic of COVID-19 and the human rights. We had no way of knowing what the situation in relation to the pandemic would be by October 2020, or what measures in response to the pandemic would remain in place. What we did know was that given the unprecedented nature of the measures taken, cases concerning the impact of these measures on human rights would soon start to arrive before courts in the region. Now, as the nature and the impact of the pandemic continue to evolve, and measures to contain the spread of COVID-19 remain in place all over Europe, it has become clear that judicial responses to the questions which have arisen during the pandemic so far will also help shape state responses to pandemic going forward. And therefore we felt it is even more essential that those dealing with questions relating to the pandemic come together collectively to understand what the ECHR requires of member states in such exceptional situation and what it means to uphold the rule of law during a crisis situation. It is during times of crisis that the protection of human rights and the rule of law can be most at threat. This is particularly relevant in the Western Balkans given the existing challenges that the countries of the region face in securing protection of the rule of law. Building the foundations and structures that uphold the rule of law is at the heart of EU accession and integration. And the rule of law, that principle that law should govern all is one of the preconditions for effective democracy. It is also a principle which applies at all times, even and especially during a crisis or a public emergency situation. We hope that this forum will help to place the principles of rule of law at the center of the discourse in the region regarding how to respond to the pandemic. We also hope 
the discussions which take place over the course of the forum will reinforce that the protection of human rights should not be viewed as an obstruction to protection of health. On the contrary, the application of principles of legality and proportionality can help ensure that measures taken to respond to the pandemic are efficient and effective in their goal of protecting health. Finally, we hope that this forum can help identify some of the ways in which the changes introduced as a response to the pandemic may be used to further our collective purpose of upholding the rule of law and protecting human rights. For example, the move to roll out technology and increase internet connection across the region to enable remote hearings to take place and to increase remote access to education. Such changes are possibly going to endure beyond the context of the pandemic. And if implemented in line with the convention standards, could help increase access to court and to education in long term. I would now like to thank all of these who have made this forum possible. I extend my thanks to the judges and the former judges of the European Court who have been closely involved in the planning of this event and in particular to President Robert Spano and Commissioner Dunja Mijatovic for their support and encouragement they gave us over the past few months and for joining us here today to deliver keynote speeches which I know will inspire a stimulating exchange of views. The UK government, the government of Sweden, the government of Netherlands for recognizing the importance of our work and giving us means to carry it out. Konrad Adenauer Foundation, and in particular Hartmut Rank, who joined us here today for their crucial support. Further, our partners at the Civil Rights Defenders, with whom we founded Forum back in 2014, and our partnership and friendship went from strength to strength ever since. And of course, I would like to thank my team at the Air Center for their hard work over the past few months and also huge thanks to all those, and there are very many, who helped us put together the logistics of this complex event. And by way of closing remarks, I would like to thank everyone participating here, across the region and online, for their enthusiasm shown in participating in this forum. Whilst I'm saddened that we cannot meet together in one place, we are determined to keep the interactive nature of this event and encourage you all to ask questions and share insights. We will meet again before long. I wish you all two very successful days and look forward to the discussions ahead of us.